Also, violent crime spiraling out of control in New York City. A nurse visiting Manhattan died over the weekend after a deranged homeless man slammed her to the ground in Times Square moments after mugging another woman. Meanwhile, a mentally ill woman shoving someone into a subway train last week. In both cases, the suspects were set free without bail from previous crimes thanks to a 2020 bail reform law. Ted Williams, attorney, Fox News contributor, former D.C. homicide detective, here to talk all about that. Ted, good morning to you. I want to play this. Um, the, here is the comment from the sister of the alleged subway pusher. The city has failed her, she says. They took her off the medication because she says that she doesn't have mental issues, which is clearly not the truth. They always let her go and she always attacks somebody. If they knew any better, she'd be sent to the institution tonight instead of putting her on Rikers Island where she could fight again. What do you do this when you're trying to corral the mentally ill in a large city like New York where we have seen crime the way it's gone, Ted? You know, Bill, this is, these incidents are so sad. Uh, but I got to tell you, there's no quick fix to when you're dealing with the mentally ill, especially in New York City, where you have over 12,000 individuals that are mentally ill. What you're going to have to do is retool and retrain uh, individuals to recognize mental illness. You're going to have to have uh, mental illness experts to work with judges in the courts to try to identify these people and not send them to prison or jails, but to send them to some kind of an institution if they're severely mentally ill. That's all you can do, unfortunately, at this stage, I believe. What do you think is going to be the story with these easy bail policies we're now seeing in big cities? I, they've got to be reversed. They absolutely have to be reversed. The criminals are laughing at us with these bail policies. They know that they can commit crime and that before the ink is dry, they're back out on the street. Uh, this just should not be happening in any city in America, Bill. Mm, okay, well, it's happening. Uh, you know that. In the meantime, there's a movement here. We had defund, and now it looks like they're looking for a refund. What gives with the defunding of the police trying to get their money back? Law-abiding citizens are standing up and saying, what the hell you mean defunding the police while crime is going up in our neighborhoods? And I think the po politicians who have tried to be politically correct are now reversing and trying to give more money. You've got New York City there where de Blasio is taking millions away from the police department. And crime is on an up uh, here, uh, up spike there in New York. And that, you know, it, it, you've got to do something. And that's happening around the country. Just recently, the uh, actor Morgan Freeman uh, came out and spoke out rightfully against this so-called defunding crap. Mm, okay. Um, here is the homicide rate in the big cities that uh, we're talking about so far now in 2021 new york city's at 263 um austin uh up about 53 and los angeles at 299 that's some stunning numbers there uh, what was this comment about trying to be politically correct ted well what has happened is after the george floyd incident uh, you have found politicians, and specifically in Democratic states, who have tried to be politically correct uh, with what they believe their citizens wanted. And what they believe their citizens wanted is really not what their citizens wanted. Citizens, black, white, yellow, blue, all they want to do is to feel safe in their neighborhoods. And that is not happening. I must say, I take my hat off to uh, President Obama and Biden, who said this defunding the police is just something that should not happen. And I wholeheartedly agree with that. Well, refund the defund it is. Ted Wheeler, thanks for coming in today. Nice to see you on this Monday. Thanks, Ted. <laughs> my pleasure, Bill.